our beloved guest, uh, Sheikh Mufti Minks. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. MashaAllah, I'm just listening into the beautiful discussion, and I think it's such an opportune moment to reflect over our own condition and uh, how best we can improve ourselves, inshallah, in this regard. Barakallahu feek, Sheikh, for taking part uh, on the show and making an effort to be with us, inshallah. I know it's very late where you are, but uh, may Allah reward you, inshallah. So, uh, Sheikh Mufti Minx, we want to know that from your point of view, inshallah, and uh, to expand the conversation itself about the racism and how, to, how, do, we tackle, how do we tackle racism and how do we uh, advise our brothers and sisters, whether they're Muslim or non-Muslims, in the best way to give the response about racism? Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, alhamdulillah, wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ala alihi wa ashabihi ajma'in. I think what's important for me to do is to put myself into the situation and remind myself who I am and what is the whole aim of me being on earth. So if I were to talk to myself, I would say I was created by Allah, Rabbul Izzati wal Jalal. When I came onto earth, I found I was not alone. I found that there are so many others whom the same Allah made. While I'm on earth, I also learned that my duty is to please Allah. Everything that I find on earth is a test for me. Allah is going to watch whether I actually manage and process and do that which will please him or displease him. So when I came, I found my parents, my rights that I need to fulfill towards my parents. It's a test for me or against me, be they Muslim or not. The same applies. I found so many different races. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Surah Al-Hujurat. I'm sure we all know this. Allah addresses mankind and says, we've made you into different people, different yeah. tribes, races, etc. In order that you recognize one another. In order that you recognize one another. Subhanallah. So, if I look at those who are of a different race, I need to make sure I realize that if I want to get closer to the maker, well, he has made together with me so many others. If I don't love them the same way I love myself or I love any other race, I would not have understood who the creator actually is. And this is why I say a racist has a problem with Allah because Allah was the maker who made that particular race. So if you cannot fulfill the rights of a fellow human, then you have not understood who Allah is. And that is where the problem would lie. So for me as an individual, I always remind myself that all these tests from Allah, you must pass them. There is no virtue of one over another. You know that that's the hadith. Everyone is saying it so much because of the incidents that are occurring right now. Uh -huh. You find people quoting the hadith. What's important is not only to quote it, but to practice upon it. Tell yourself, if I see others, do I really love them? Do I respect them? Do I treat them the same? So the color doesn't matter at all. But mm -hmm. actually, I will treat irrespective of their color in the same way. So this is my test. I look at it in this way. And I think when we share it with others, we, I've always said that if you really have recognized Allah, you will understand you're not the only one on earth. Perhaps there are others whom Allah loves way beyond, he, beyond his love of you, and they may belong to totally different races. Perhaps you might be treating them in a, in a wrong way. And even if a person were to be bad to you, because you love Allah so much, you need to try and reach out to them in a positive way sure. rather than in a negative way. So, I really thank Allah for giving us an opportunity to highlight this and to reflect over our own condition because many speakers are coming up. I'm not talking of this particular platform, but globally, and they're talking about uh, what others should do. I want to say what I should be doing, subhanAllah, right. and encourage everyone. You know what? 
uh, let's inshallah mend our ways and everyone needs to do more and we can do much better and inshallah we will do much better for the pleasure of allah the creator Ameen. of one and all i mean mom shakil is there anything you want to add into this inshallah i think what uh, sheikh mufti Menka, you know have allah mentioned in terms of look we always have this sometimes within the Muslim community. Right. What do you need to do? Uh -huh. What does she need to do? What does right. he need to do? Right. What's my role? What's my responsibility? Sure. And in bringing about change in society and positive change, everybody, if they take on that responsibility, I need to make an effort to rid society of racism. Uh -huh. Inshallah, with Allah Ta'ala's tawfiq, it will happen, inshallah. Inshallah.